In this video, we'll be wrapping up lighting, and we'll be talking about how to use the vertex color stored in your mesh to influence the vertex lighting calculations. So, as you see here, we have a property called main color, which is providing an overall tint for the object. We're not looking at any textures or anything yet, this is just the lighting calculations. So, if we look at the lights that we actually have in the scene, right now we're just using one directional light pointing this way and we were seeing that when we changed main color not only was it affecting the colors in the front of the object but also the back where it's in shadow and that's typical what's happening is that we're using the same variable for both ambient and diffuse you can also see that we're using the property underscore color this is how the built-in shaders do it so the color property which is what you do when you do uh, use material dot color will provide an overall tint for the object based on ambient and diffuse. You're welcome to use um, material dot color for emission or specular if you want, but that's not uh, that's not the way the built-in shaders work. So we're going to be adding up the diffuse and ambient calculation. We can also add in some emission if we want to but I'll just be leaving that black and specular color on top of that which you can see moving around the front of the sphere so those are all added together and on top of that let's go ahead and make this white to see the result of what happens next we'll also go ahead and turn the render settings down so that there's no um, ambient contribution and for the time being I will I guess I'll leave the specular on so we're seeing that we have white light right now let's go ahead and except where, where the specular highlight is we will make that red pure red and then we'll have another directional light that's cyan pointing in the same direction and when we turn that on then we get white again. So all the lights in your scene are going to be added together. All those lighting calculations are added together. So when you have all the different colors of light, green and blue, which is cyan, and red, then you're going to get white where they combine. And if we were to take one of them and rotate it slightly, then you can see you know, what's actually going on. We're having red, we're having cyan, and they mix together in the middle. We're getting this white, some white there. Here's another example that showcases the lights adding together. We have a light shining from this direction and from that direction, and you can see the results of their diffuse and specular effects. We see the purple specular highlight moving around, and we have you know, lighting from both sides. Now, although this is not going to add any more draw calls, as can happen if you're using pixel lights and non-deferred rendering, forward rendering, um, it is going to slow things down, so do try to keep your lights down to the minimum of what you need because they're not fast. Although Unity, Unity does not impose a hard limit on you, um, each light you add is going to slow your game down by some amount. So then the last thing we need to do is add in a texture, uh, some sort of texture to multiply by. This is what the texture is going to look like by itself. I, I wrote uh, combined texture alpha because it's the alpha channel of this red, green, blue, and white texture. Um, the grayscale will allow us to uh, see the color influence of the lights a little bit better. So there's that, and let's look at the sphere for a moment. Be white and gray on the front, and we want to have primary, which is the vertex lights, multiplied by that. And there's the result. And the typical thing to do is to use double, allowing over-brightening. So there's that. So you can see some specular highlights showing up, along with diffuse lighting on this mesh, some ambient lighting in the back, some more specular highlights are showing up as I move around. And that's about all there is to it. If you're just using solid colors, for all of the properties, 
in the material block.